Hi, my name is Loana Hoskin and I am a Cornish dancer with the group Kikesa. Today is part of the Cornish element of the Virtual and Cognat Festival. I'm going to be teaching you a short traditional Cornish dance called Cock and Breeches. In Cornwall we have different types of dances. We have so social dances with lots of people. We have feast day and furry day dances which, were, which process through the streets on feast days. And we have scoot dances. Now scoot dances are basically step or percussive dances, but in Cornwall we call them scoot because of the scoots on the bottom of working boots. This was a series of hobnail boot, hobnails which protected the shoe, um, but also made a great sound if you're going to step. So we don't wear uh, hobnail boots these days to dance in, but we do wear tap shoes. They're much lighter, so it's important when we're dancing to get a nice heavy feeling and not be too light. Today, however, I'm just going to be wearing some other shoes that I do percussive dance in, which are leather sole shoes, because the floor I'm dancing on is really loud. <laughs> um, so the dance I'm going to teach you today is called Cock and Breeches, and it shows all the different elements of the harvest. So we're going to start by seeing uh, sowing the seed, raking it, uh, scything or, um, or chopping it down and winnowing to thresh out the corn. I'll go through each of these as we do the steps. Um, so all we really need before we get started is it'd be good to have a pair of shoes which have got a hard sole on the bottom. Um, you can do it in things like trainers but beware that they're very sticky and might cause some issues. Uh, again you can also do it in bare feet if you would like to. Won't be as loud but that's fine. And you will also need a prune handle, a bit like the one behind me. It will all become clear in a minute. So before we start, um, you do need to make sure that you have plenty of space around you. Again, it would be good to have a hard floor so you can hear your steps. But please, if you're dancing on tiles, say in a kitchen, please make sure that you, the space between the tiles isn't enough that might trip you over. We will be turning in this dance, so it's important that you have cleared your space. We also need to look at ourselves. Please, this is pre-recorded. You can pause it, you can take a break, you can go and get some water, listen to yourself. It, it won't, it's not a strenuous dance, um, but if it's something that you haven't done before, please make sure that you listen to yourself and you take breaks or um, have a little uh, sit down in between. You can practice the steps sat down. Um, so just please listen to yourself, feel what's comfortable for you and enjoy doing the dance. So once you've found your space, we can get up and get moving. So first I'm going to teach you the first step. And this step goes most of the way through the dance. So you're going to drop onto one foot and then two, three, just two little steps. So you're going to go drop, two, three, drop, two, three, drop, two, three, drop, two, three. So with that step, it is three steps, one, two, three. But we're going to put the emphasis on the first one. We're going to drop, drop, two, three, drop, two, three, drop, two, three. So all of our weight is going on to the first step and then it's two, three little ones after that. Let's try that once all together. We're going to start on our left foot for this. So we're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three. That's 
that's it. So let's just try four of them. That's all we need to do. Just four to start with on our left foot. Here we go. Ready? And one, two, and two, two, two. That's it. If you're happy with that, carry on. If not, then you can flick back and go over that again. That is basically the step that we're going to do the whole way through. So grab your broomstick. You're going to hold it in your right hand. As we do the first step, we're going to move the broomstick. So it's our sewing first. We're sewing the seeds. So during that step, we're going to move the stick behind our head without hitting ourselves or anything else around. So if there is anything that hasn't yet been cleared, just make sure it's popped out the way now. So just to make that clear, as you pick up your stick, your left hand is going to hold it and going to put it behind you. That's it. So that's going to happen on the second two of the first four. So just as an example, you're going to go and one, two, three, and two, two, three, and three, two, three, and four, two, three. So it's back behind you by that point. Let's try that once more all together with our hands moving and our feet moving and everything going all at the same time. Right, here we go. Ready? And, and one, two, three. your seeds you're gonna pretend that you've got a pouch of seeds just here you know during the next bit you're going to grab some seeds and you're going to chuck them on the floor grab some seeds and throw them so you're scattering them over the field at the same time we're going to be dancing so let's just try our hands to start with so we're going to go in two three and chuck two three and in two three and chuck Okay, at the same time, I'm just going to move my stick down for a minute, we're going to be doing the same step as we have done, the kick one, two, three, kick two, two, three, but we're going to move forwards. So we're going to go and one, two, three, and two, two, three, three, two, three, and four, two, three. That's it. I think I'm still in short, so we're all good. So let's just try before going forwards. All together. Ready? And. And one, two, three, and two, two, three, three, two, three, three, four, two, three. Preferably without kicking the thing behind. So let's try that all together just before going forwards. Ready? And. And one, two, three, and three, two, three, and four, two, three. Right. Let's pop it all together. So at this point, your stick is behind your neck and you're ready to throw the seeds onto the field. Ready, and, and in, two, three, and out, two, three, and in, two, three, and out, two, three. That's it. Let's put that together. So we've got eight steps now, all together. Ready, so we're going to start on the right, on the left foot. You're going to do four on the spot. After two, you're moving your stick up, and then you're going to do four forwards, throwing the seed on the field. Here we go. Ready? And one, two, three, and two, two, three, and move, two, three, forwards, and in, and out, and in, and out. That's it. We'll carry on. I don't think my head's in view, but that's fine. Now you're going to take your stick and bring it forwards, just the same way as when you put it up. So we put it up by going that way around. So you've gone, you've thrown your seeds, you're going to do exactly the same, you're going to bring it around. Okay? So then your stick is, your right hand is on the top, your left hand is further down. Just practice that whilst we haven't got any steps or anything going so that you don't hurt yourself <laughs> by hitting yourself in the face as we actually do it. So once we've got to the front of the stage, we've done our four steps forwards, throwing our seed out, we're going to take the stick and bring it down. Now you've got the same step, but you're going to take it going backwards. So you've got four steps going backwards. For now, just hold the stick where it is, okay? So 
So you're going to go starting on the left foot again and one, two, three, and two, two, three, and three, two, three, and four, two, three. Simple. So we have got to the front. We have scattered the seeds across the field. You're going to bring your stick down on just one count. As you go backwards, you're going to rake the earth. Just like that. That's it. So it's this hand, your right hand, is staying quite close into you, and your left is swinging it out. Okay, so let's try that all together. We're going to do four of those steps going backwards whilst raking. I'm going to do it twice, so if you want to watch it the first time, you can. Ready? And one, two, three, and two, two, three, and three, two, three, and four, and two, three. That's it. Okay, so we're going to try once more all together. Right hand on the top of the stick, left hand at the bottom. Ready? And, and one, two, three, and two, two, three, and three, two, three, and four, two, three. That's it. So that's the whole of the first verse, I suppose. Shall we put it all together? So we're going to do four, one, four kick one, two, threes on this spot. Four moving forwards, four moving back. Simple as for our feet. For our hands, we're going to leave it for two. We're going to move the stick up on numbers three, four. As we go forwards, we're going to sow the seed out and in and out and in. Bring the stick down, we're going to go one and two and three and four. That's it. So, are we ready? Count five. Ready? And, and one, two, three. back where we started. You're going to put the stick on the floor. Now we've got our chorus. So we're going to go, you've got your left foot ready, there's no weight on this foot. You're going to jump and put it to the side. Together, out, together. Nice and easy. If you can, that's it. So one, two, out, two. We're going to go step, step back, step, step, forwards, forwards. Okay, so that's literally just going backwards and back to where we started. So back, back, forwards, forwards. So let's try that first bit of the chorus. So let's jump out, in, out, in, back, back, forward, forward. Ready? And out, in, out, in, back, back, forwards, forwards. Turns out I've got a very squeaky board. Okay, as we carry on for the chorus, you're going to spin around on the spot. It's useful for this to pick your stick up rather than trying to go all the way around your stick. So bring it up just very slightly and you're going to pivot around. One, two, three, four. Everything's in pause in this. We're going to go out to the side again. So you're going to go jump, jump. And this time, instead of going back, you're going to spin around twice. Ready, and one, two, Okay, shall we try the chorus all together? So the chorus is out, in, out, in, back, back, forwards, forwards, round, two, three, four, out, in, out, in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're back to where we started. So let's try that. We'll do it twice, the chorus, so that we can get it into our brains. Ready? And out, in, out, in, back, back, forwards, forwards, round. Two, three, four, out to the side, out and round again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is, uh, are we all okay? We'll go once more and then we'll put it on to the end of the first verse. Here we go. So out to the side, start. Ready? And out, two, out, two, back. Round one, two, three, four, out, out, and again. One, three, four, five, six, and eight. Okay, hopefully we've all got that. If not, you can 
go backwards and see it all. Let's try the first verse and the chorus. So the first verse, four on the spot, four going forwards, four going back. And that's always the same. But we're going to move our stick up behind us after two. We're going to go forwards, taking the seat. I'm sure this board is going to squeak it as I go on. And then we're going to come back, raking the earth, ready to go straight into our chorus. Right, let's give it a go. We'll do it with the music at the very end. So, five, six, five, six seven, and over again. If not, we're going to carry on to the second verse. So, second verse is exactly the same as the first. Four on the spot, four moving forwards, four coming back. So, the four on the spot. Let's just give that a go so that we know it's in our brains. Ready? And one, and two, and three, and four. That's it. As we do that, we're going to do two and just like in the first verse where we started moving our stick, we're going to do the same in this verse. Apart from this time, you're going to move your hand like this. So now your left hand is the one that's on the top of the stick. Okay. So as it goes, we've got one and two. You're going to move three and four. Make sure your hands are nice and wide apart because this is the point where we're scything. And if you don't know scything, if you've watched Pole Dark, you will. So it's basically when we're going to cut all of the uh, all of the crop. So it's there. That's a nice and wide movement as we've actually done. So you've got to have your hands really far apart. So let's try the first four steps. They're on the spot. And after two, we're going to move our hands. We'll do it twice as before. So first time, ready? Starting on our, le our left foot again. Ready? And, and one, and two, move your hands, and three, and four. Everyone got that? Let's go once more. Ready? And, and one, and two, and three, and four. That's it. Why am I moving my hand? There we go. So we're going now like this. And we're going to scythe. So we're going to do four steps forward and we're going to scythe. So as we go, just practice doing this action. It's nice and big so that we know it's different from the raking that we just did. And your hands are the opposite way around, okay? Just to make sure we've got the difference between the two different activities in this dance. So, We've done our four on the spot. We're going to do four backwards scything. Ready? Starting on our left foot again. Ready? And, and one, and two, and three, and four. The easy bit about verse number two is you do the same action going backwards. Ready? And, and one, and two, and three, and four. And you got to the end of verse two. So let's pop that all together. Four on the spot, changing hands, four going forwards, scything, four going backwards, scything. Okay, everyone ready? We can start on our left foot as we always do. Six, seven, and a one. where we started and we've got our chorus so we're going to jump out to the side and out in out in back back forwards forwards spin around for four one two three four out to the side out out and round for eight one two lost
lost my counts in there. Anyway, shall we try putting verse one, the chorus, verse two, and the chorus all together? Don't worry, there's only one more to go after that. So, first one, four on the spot, four forwards, four back. As we do that, we're going to lift our stick up and we're throwing the seed out, we're coming back and we're raking it in. Second one, we're going to swap our hands over and we're going to scythe as we go forwards and as we come back. Okay, all together, ready? On our left foot, seven and one. some music. So from the beginning 
we have four on the spot, four forwards, four back. With that, first one is going to go over our head. We're going to throw the seed on the ground. We're going to bring the stick back and we're going to rake it. That's it. We're into our chorus, out in, out in, back, back, forwards, forward, round. Out in, out in, round, twice. Second verse, we're going to change the stick into our other hand and we're siding this time. So we're making nice big sweeping movements. So we've got four on the spot, swapping the stick on two. We're going to go forwards and back both times using the siding action. Then we're into our, into our chorus. Out in, out in, back, back, balls, balls around. Out in, out in, double round. Okay, third time we are going to do our winnowing. So that's where we change our hands over and we're going to dig in and throw it up in the air. And remember to show the strength on this one because it's not an easy action. <laughs> that's it, so we've got that going forwards and back and then we're going to finish with our chorus, out, out, in, in, out, in, out, in, back, back, forwards, forwards, round, out, in, out, in, double round, and that is the whole dance. Okay, so let's give it a go without the music, once, maybe twice through, and then we'll give it a go with the music. So, here we go, starting on our left foot, we are going to start with our kick one, two, three, kick two, two, three, kick three, two, three, kick four, two, three. Okay. Five, six, seven, and one. And two. Bring the stick. Up. And two. And out. And in. And out. Bring it down. Back. And two. And three. Four chorus. Out in. Out. In. Out. In. Back. Back. Forwards. And round we go. And four. And out to the side. Round for eight. resident musician is now here to play for us. So we're going to give it a go the whole way through uh, with the squeaky floorboard underneath me. So first verse is uh, the stick above our head and scattering the seed on the field uh, without knocking out any musicians who happen to be near you. Uh, we're going to rake back and then we've got our chorus out to the side, out, 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 back, forwards, forwards and round, out to the side, out to the side and two spins round for eight. Second verse is changing our hands over and we're scything going forwards and back. Nice big movements. Then we've got our chorus out to the side, etc. And then the third, uh, third verse is our winnowing. So we're going to swap our hands over and dig in and throw it up in the air. So we'll give it a go with the music the whole way through without taking anyone out. <laughs>
taking part in this workshop. I hope you've enjoyed it and have learned a new Cornish dance, Cock and Britches. Uh, I hope you all have a great festival, in person or virtual, or however you're celebrating this incredible.